Hello and welcome back to another CodingMath.com tutorial. Today we are going to be going over exercise Phys Array 2 and Section Array 2. So let's read the problem. Given a number n, create and return a new string array of length n containing the strings 0, 1, 2, all the way through n minus 1. n may be 0, in which case just return a length 0 array. Note that string.value of um, xxx will make the string form of most types, and that's including integers. The syntax to make a new string array is new string and with the desired length in brackets. Um, see also fizzbuzz code, which is another exercise problem that we probably have a tutorial for, so you can go look that up if you have not done it already. Anyways, let's just hop right to it. The first example is fizz array 2 with um, into n as 4, so therefore you have 0 to 3 because it goes to n minus 1, um, starting from 0, counting up by 1. The second array has 10 indices and goes from 0 to 9 because it's 10 minus 1 is 9, starting from 0. And finally, we have the array with 2 as n and it goes from 0 to 1. So basically, it's asking. Um, to return an array of 0 to whatever number minus 1. So that's in a string array. So let's create that string array that we are going to be returning. Um, as it says, it's going to be a new string with the desired length, and we want the desired length to be n. Because although we don't want to include that number, it's going to be that number of indices like 4, it's having 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, um, 0 to 9 would be 10 indices, and so on. So we want to create a loop, a for loop that goes from 0 to the number we want to stop on, which is um, 1 less than n. So while it's less than n, i++. Plus plus. And this would just go starting from 0, counting 1 each time, um, all the way to 1 minus, or n minus 1. So in this loop, we just want to assign the index, because it's the correct index, to string that value of that index. And this would just be i. This would return the number of the for, it, for loop iteration that we are on, but just in the string value so it can return in the str array. Now, once we have made the array, we just have to return it. And there we go, we got all the test cases correct. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments down below. And otherwise, enjoy the day, and I hope to see you in the next video.